Let's make this screen replacement scene using After Effects and Mocha while solving some common problems along the way. So I'm in After Effects and I have a clip here of a laptop in a kitchen and we're gonna do some motion tracking and screen replacement. So with my layer selected, I'll go to Animation, Track in Boris FX Mocha. Click on the Mocha icon and Mocha will pop up. I'm gonna use the XSplined tool for this. Usually with screen replacements in Chroma Keying, you would use these tracker points, but I'm gonna use the edges of the screen for this and you'll see why later. And once that's all set, I'll click on Show Surface and Align Surface to maintain the proportions of the comp. I'll track forward and speed this up for you. And once that's all done, I'll save this and jump back to After Effects. Now I'll lay in my screen replacement clip. And here it is right here. So I'm gonna scale this down. I'm okay with cropping the sides here because I just need this center frame. I'm at my first frame and I have this in the right spot. This looks pretty good. Bring my opacity back up. I'm gonna pre-comp this and move all attributes into the new composition. Hit OK. This way the parameters are gonna be the same parameters of my comp. I'll bring this onto my bottom layer and now I'm gonna to go to tracking data, create track data, layer one, hit OK. Under layer export two, I have my bottom layer and I'm gonna hit apply export. And now you see it tracked really well. If I just bring this on top to see it with the background, you can see it tracks pretty flawlessly. I'll bring this back underneath. So usually to remove a green screen like this, you'd use the key light effect on your main layer. So you would just key out the green. Under view, I would go to view screen mat and I would adjust my screen mat parameters here. So my alpha channel is all black. But part of the problem is over here, we have a green object like a plant of some sort. So it's kind of competing with the key of the screen. So when I go back to my final result, you could see it removed part of the green of the scene. Even the background here has a little bit of a green tinge to it. So we're actually not gonna use the key light effect for this. In my Mocha settings, I'm gonna bring down my matte dropdown and I'm gonna click on create AE masks. And this is gonna create an animated mask from what I did in Mocha. The only thing I have to do is in my mask settings, I have to subtract the mask. And if I brought this on top, you could see it tracks really well, so that's great. You see some of the edges here, which I could actually fix by just doing a mask expansion. A Little bit of the alpha is poking through, but that's okay, I could fix that. If I just jump into my pre-comp, I can create a new solid that'll make it black. So if I jump into my pre-comp, bring that underneath, so if I go back to my main comp, that fills in all the alpha edges that are here. So now you see, we maintain all of our green that's in our scene here. But now you can see we have a little bit of green on the laptop that's basically a reflection from what's on the screen. So we could actually create a new adjustment layer. Select this area here. And I'm gonna click on mask path to make a keyframe. Then I'm gonna right click, track mask. And now I'm gonna track this forward. So once I have that tracked, I'm gonna to go to my Lumetri color. And I'm gonna drag that onto my adjustment layer. And if I go down to curves, and in the hue versus hue, I'm gonna take the green channel and I'm gonna bring that down. And you can see it turns a little blue, which is okay. I could also lower the vibrance and that looks good. So now for the next part, I'm actually gonna rotoscope the computer so I could lay in some nice graphical code or something on the wall here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take all these layers and I'm gonna pre-comp them. I'm gonna click on this pre-comp here and I'm gonna go to my roto brush. And then I'm gonna actually roto the computer and the screen. It doesn't have to be super precise, but I just basically need to get all of the outline here. Okay, so then once I have my roto in a good spot, I can hit the freeze button and it'll freeze the roto and it'll freeze the roto. So it's basically not gonna propagate every time you try to preview your frame. If you wanna learn more about rotoscoping, then check out some of the videos I made below. I have my top layer, which is my roto and my bottom, which is just my full comp. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my bottom layer and I'm gonna track and stabilize track camera. And I'll let this analyze. You can see it creates nice tracking points here. So this spot will do right here. I'll click on create solid and camera. And then I'll scale that up. And then I'll tweak the parameters a bit. So in my project panel, this is the clip that I was gonna overlay. So I'll click on my track solid. And if I just hold the option key, I could drag and replace the solid with this clip. Scale it up and adjust it even more. I'm gonna make sure I bring it underneath my roto layer. And then I'll select the blending mode add. And if I wanna tweak it a little bit more, I could use the corner pin effect and I could drag each corner so it matches the perspective of the wall. And finally, using that same 3D camera tracker, I could add some more unique elements to the scene. And here's the final result.